Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to the workshop. In this video, I'm going to be building a trivet for the kitchen. Let's get tinkering. These tiles are a souvenir from a holiday. They were painted and glazed by my kids many years ago when we went to Italy. So they've got a very traditional Italian design to them. Now they've been sitting in my kitchen like this on the side with hand creams and things sitting on top of them for many years. And it's about time they had a proper frame for them. And that's what we're gonna to build today. I'm gonna to use these old tripod legs, which I rescued out of a skip a couple of years ago. I think they're about the right dimensions for what I need to make. I'm gonna start by using my thin strip push block to tidy up the sides. If you're enjoying this video, please leave a thumbs up. I then move the fence in a smidgen and tidy up the other two sides. This has left me with two boards that are exactly an inch by an inch. This next cut needs to be set to exactly seven millimeters. The next cut would be better done on a router table, but my son's on nights, so I don't want to make too much noise. So I'm going to do this using the table saw. These two cuts provide the lip that the tiles will sit in. I also need to cut a chamfer on the top, so I set the blade to 45 degrees. If you haven't already, now's a great time to subscribe. So I've decided that this chamfer here is just a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna chop a little bit off to make the whole thing a little bit narrower. With the mitre fence on the sliding table set to 45 degrees, I can now cut the mitres. And with a stop block in place, I can make sure these two pieces are exactly the same size. I can now cut the short sides. I've just done a dry fitting and I think it will look nicer if it has some legs. Now to make the legs I'm just going to hog out some wood either side and leave a little bit in the middle for a middle leg and a little bit at each end. But so that it all looks even, I've marked out two inches and I'm going to make a cut there, spin it round and make another cut there. And that means that the two cuts will be exactly the same distance apart. And I'll use that as the extremity of what I need to then hog out. I'm using the flag stop on the mitre fence to ensure that the cuts are at exactly the same position at each end. After all the hogging out on the table saw, I'm left with these pieces. I think this looks like quite a nice leg. It'll look like that. And I did the same size legs on the small sides as well. I'm now ready to glue up and I'll clamp it using my homemade strap clamp. While we're waiting for everything to dry, can anyone tell me what this wood is? One of the problems of using secondhand wood is you don't know what you're dealing with. I thought it might be beach, but I think it's slightly too dark for beach. If you can tell from these images, then please let me know. I've been sanding for about three or four minutes and I'm now moving up to 220 grit. This will probably be the highest grit I use. A quick round with the tack cloth and the first of four coats of furniture oil. All that's left is to fit the tiles. I'm leaving these in loose so that I can take them out to clean them. Well, I'm really pleased with the results. This is something I should have done years ago. Who would have thought that a tripod that was destined for landfill could be turned into something so beautiful? If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. 